Hi everybody, Al Gattulo here, and this is the third, count them third, and that would be one, two, three, uh, the third Al Gattulo craft beer video cast. I uh, hope everyone is doing well. Uh, we have, for today's selection, a Blue Points Mosaic Session IPA. This is a great one, low alcohol content, um, not as bitter as some other IPAs. Uh, we discussed IPAs in our last craft beer cast, we were talking with Coronado Brewing, but today we're talking uh, Blue Point uh, Brewing. Blue Point is one of my favorites. Uh, they make a lot of good stuff. Uh, this Session IPA, one of the best uh, in the business. Now, Blue Point was established back in 1998. Uh, Mark and Pete, they tapped their first keg in the parking lot uh, of what would eventually become uh, their building and their brewery, uh, which you can go and see. Uh, they're out in Patchogue. BluePointBrewing.com is the website. Uh, you can check them out. Uh, Blue Point Brewing, and uh, if you can, I mean, it's it's in a lot of places on the East Coast, uh, but it needs to get out more. It's uh, in a lot of places in New York, but in New Jersey, I find I have a hard time uh, finding uh, different things. Now, um, this particular one, Blue Point Mosaic, is one of my favorites and is in not a lot of stores. Um, place I went to down in Somerset, New Jersey, Bottle Point. Um, was it Bottle Point? Brew Point? I don't remember the name, and I'm sorry uh, off the top of my head, uh, but uh, found it there. Picked it up. It is great. We're going to talk about that in just a couple of minutes. Now, a session IPA. So what is a session IPA? Well, a session uh, IPA, it's an India pale ale. Uh, it's basically a pale ale that was shipped to India back in the 1700s. Uh, the English made them. Um, and India pale ales usually have a higher alcohol content because the hops are much, there's more hops uh, in the beer. Less sugar, more hops. That's how you get the higher alcohol content, or what we call ABV, alcohol beverage uh, volume. Uh, now, this one is 4.8%, so it's a lighter one, so you can have a few more of them. It's a great, you know, spring, summertime beer. Uh, you know, you're sitting out in the backyard, you want to have a couple of beers and uh, not get too uh, too drunk, so you want to have uh, a couple of these. 4.8 is great, uh, real good stuff. By the way, I forgot to tell you guys, follow me, Twitter. At Al Gatulo, A L G A T T U L L O. We're very high tech here on the Al Gatulo Craft Beer uh, video cast. That's why we use the cue cards. So uh, if you want, check it, check it out. Check me out again on Twitter. Remember at Al Gatulo. Yes, that's a bottle opener. You want to know why? Want to know why it's a bottle opener? Because I'm about to crack open this deliciousness of Blue Point Mosaic. And then uh, after I take a couple of sips and I tell you all about it, I'm also going to tell you what kind of food you can pair this with, okay, uh, because, uh, you know, listen, let's face it, uh, there are a lot of different foods um, that you can pair uh, beer with, okay, we discussed this when we were talking with uh, Coronado Brewing, uh, but now we're going to talk about it with, uh, oh, you know, I might want to turn it around, see, folks, radio background, not really up on the TV stuff, all right, Blue Point Mosaic, I have my Belgian glass now, uh, Belgian snifter glasses are great, uh, these types of snifter glasses for IPAs because they open up the IPA uh, more. So you get more of the hops, you get more of the fruitiness in them. And again, uh, we were talking about this at the last cast, and I'll just I'll just say uh, the differences between East Coast and West Coast IPAs. Here it is. East Coast IPA, stronger malt and spicier European hops. West Coast IPA, more hops, little to no malt. So there you have it. That's the difference between West Coast and East Coast. This happens to be an East Coast we did a West Coast on our last one, and here we go. We got our glass, we got our beer, and we're going to make the pour right about now. Look at that. Look, look, look. Oh, yeah. Liquid gold, baby. Liquid gold going in the glass. Check that out. Now, a uh, bit of a lighter color. Let's uh, let's finish that off. Yeah, okay, good to the last drop. That's how we do it. Now, a bit of a lighter color uh, on this one. And as you can see, a lot more, you know, a lot more bubbles and stuff. Okay, decent head. I'm going to take a sip. <sighs> so good. Now, here's what I get out of this. Um, I don't taste as, as many hops. It's a little, uh, little bit um, fruitier, sweeter. I, I shouldn't say sweeter because it's really not sweet. A little fruitier, a little more grapefruit. Um, but definitely a lighter, bitter taste. It's not as bitter as you would expect. So you can drink a few more of these. I'm going to have another sip now. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's really good. Um, 
So again, not as bitter, um, much, um, much fruitier, lighter colored, and again, less alcohol beverage volume, 4.8%. Now, what kind of foods can you pair this with? This to me, uh, out of all the session IPAs that I've had, and I've had a bunch of them, I find that this one is the best uh, for me, um, just because of the fact that you can have a few of them and you don't get that. What happens with IPAs is a lot of times you'll drink, uh, you know, three or four of them, and the bitter taste will some, you know, will start to overwhelm you a little bit. This doesn't. This is really an easygoing drinking beer. You're sitting out in the backyard. It's a beautiful day like today out on the East Coast. It's almost 80 degrees. Perfect. You can sit, relax, and have a couple. Now, food-wise, what do you pair this with? Well, with most IPAs that have a higher alcohol content, um, they're better paired with spicier foods. You're talking Indian foods. You're talking Mexican foods. Um, things with spice in them. Um, Cajun foods would be another one that you could pair normal uh, India Pale Ales with. With a lighter IPA, uh, my suggestion would be a really good burger, maybe a bacon cheeseburger, a nice steak. And remember, with the steak, you want that caramelization. You want that, you want that char on the steak because that's, that's where you really pick up the different flavors from the caramelization uh, to the bitterness of the IPA. But to me, here's what you do. You go to my favorite place uh, in, in New Jersey, Clark, New Jersey, okay? Paragon Tap and Table. They're located right off the Garden State Parkway of Exit 135. Go in, say hello to the GM. His name is Mike. Great guy. They make some fantastic food. Okay, the chef, Eric Levine, he was a winner at Chopped. Now, I know that might not seem much for, for some people, but for other people it might be, okay? He makes great food. They're about to change their menu for the fall. But let me tell you something. You go in there, you get yourself a nice session IPA. They have one on bottle or if they have one on tap, and Mike is always changing the taps out uh, weekly. So... Chances are you're probably going to get a decent IPA in there, okay? One that will pair well with a lot of different foods. But get yourself the buffalo chicken dip with the multicolored chips, and then you get yourself one of these, one of these babies, okay? And you drink it, and you eat it, and I'm telling you, it is fantastic. They make some of the best burgers out there, too, if you want to pair an IPA with a burger. Uh, the wild boar burger that they have right now, unbelievable. And the bacon eater, you can't go wrong. I mean, come on, let's face it. It's bacon. It's bacon on a burger with a bacon aioli and, you know, blue cheese and all kinds of other stuff. It's fantastic. The wild boar burger, though, jalapenos, a little salsa, uh, not gamey, very good. And really, they pair well with delicious IPAs like this one from Blue Point Mosaic. Mmm. Mmm. Let me tell you, liquid gold, my friends, liquid gold. Now, listen, if you like this and other stuff... Follow me on Twitter, at Al Gattulo, okay, A-L-G-A-T-T-U-L-L-O. We also need a name for the show. We've got plenty of names out there, but I need you folks to help me out in picking a name. The Suds Report, A Pint of Gattulo, Al's Ale Cast, Suds and Duds. I like Suds and Duds as like a, you know, maybe a little category that we could talk about. Some beers that are good and some beers that aren't. Uh, Drinking with Lincoln, Good Head with Al. We need a name for this show, please. Comment on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter, at Al Gattulo. I'll put that up there again, at Al Gattulo. And if you want a really great place to eat, check, on, check out Paragon Tap and Table. They're located in Clark, New Jersey, right off of exit 135 off the parkway. Chef Eric Levine is the head chef there. He owns the place. He's a partner in it. It's fantastic. The GM there is Mike. He's a great guy. Will absolutely, and the bartender's so knowledgeable, will pick out the right beer for your meal. But if you're having an IPA, I'm telling you, Get the Wild Boar Burger with an IPA or a nice session ale like Mosaic, the Mosaic from Blue Point Brewing, okay? And check out the Buffalo Chicken Dip. It is unbelievable. It's outstanding. Okay, folks? Next time around, I think we're going to do porters, maybe some Oktoberfest beers since it is the season. We're in it right now. It's starting to get a little chill here on the East Coast. So I think we're going to do some Oktoberfest and porters, some stouts. Uh, we'll check some different things out. And uh, I hope you join me again on the Algatulo Craft Beer Cast. Take care, everybody, and good drinking.